UGVs are an emerging technology that is constantly evolving, advancing and expanding. UGVs used to be siloed and mission specific, however have always been used to carry out tasks that are repetitive, dirty and dangerous. When they were used in Afghanistan, UGVs were operated solely for either an EOD or reconnaissance surveillance role, but now modular payloads can be swapped in and out depending on the mission. This has produced a trend of UGVs gravitating towards being much more modular in nature. A modular architecture allows for rapidly changing technology such as autonomy, software and computing to be inserted as mission kits and upgrades rather than building those technologies into the base platform. For example, onboard computers must be easily accessible as well as the electronics. UGVs have evolved by becoming lighter with greater mobility as they have to be able to navigate rugged terrain, often in unknown environments. With mobility high on the agenda, a large number of ATVs have become converted to become autonomous vehicles due to their reliability in conditions such as snow, mud and sand. UGVs have gone from being tools used by soldiers to becoming more independent and are expected to eventually become team members. The emphasis is also on keeping the vehicles fairly low cost, as well as being easy to configure and repair in the field. When UGVs break down, they can disrupt a mission or the mission ultimately loses its effectiveness. Commercial off-the-shelf COTS parts are favourable for this very reason. Interoperability ensures that less training is required. Lessons have been learned from operating diverse fleets of UGV systems, each with different control units, which all require different operating procedures and support requirements. UGVs are expected to now cover wide geographic areas in a number of different roles, which has resulted in a necessary focus on energy efficiency. Battery life has had to become increased so that longer missions can be endured, as well as keeping the battery weight to a minimum. Not only has the hardware evolved, but also the software and related algorithms. Autonomy has moved on from simple commands to become much more descriptive, and future UGVs will likely be able to aid in decision making. Communications are paramount in battlefield operations, therefore a focus is being given to extending the reach of the soldier. Experimentation has been underway, exploring the feasibility of long distance operation of multiple unmanned vehicles deployed from an unmanned marsupial vehicle. Data intensive tasks drive the demand for high quality, robust components and systems, including high resolution displays, graphics cards, high capacity data storage, software algorithms and high bandwidth data links. UGVs will be expected to be able to operate and integrate with other systems. For example, testing has been carried out operating UGVs alongside UAVs as well as manned vehicles. Just one aerial UGV can support numerous ground robots by providing feedback on their relative position and helping control the robot's ground formation whilst in motion. Future warfare will include swarm robots, which will be fully powered, self-unpacking and ready for immediate operation. In the US, the Defence Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, has launched a new program, Offensive Swarm Enabled Tactics, Offset, which seeks to empower dismounted troops with technology to control scores of unmanned air and ground vehicles at a time, and in so doing, improve a variety of tactics, including force protection, firepower, as well as ISR. Large-scale swarming will be prolific, with greater numbers of small, cheap robots being used to overcome larger, expensive systems. Unmanned combat vehicles will have the capability to move and manoeuvre completely autonomously. Terrain coverage will be increased, tactical options will be enhanced and an increase in force protection provided. To become a real team member, they will need to have a higher level of understanding about the world around them and of what the soldier wants them to do. On a military battlefield, unmanned ground systems will need to understand what the mission is, what the order of battle is, what is their role in accomplishing the mission and how that all fits together. They will need to operate in a battlefield environment as well as keep up with the operational tempo. Logistics efforts will become automated, thus freeing up soldiers to concentrate on combat activities. There will also be an increase in sensors to provide enriched intelligence and technical capabilities will also be augmented. There will be a greater situational understanding especially in urban and cluttered environments, 
with enhanced reconnaissance and mapping. The attention will be on a multi-domain battle concept, with ground forces ensuring that they are able to fully integrate with their joint partners. The increase in AI-based autonomous robots will drive a faster battle rhythm, which will necessitate the need for increased reliability in the technology.